The window to attack is so small that you need to just take it when you get it. And this is a long time to be isolated. Well, you know, if Marcotte can't do it, what are you gonna do? This year they were nice enough to put concrete barriers on the outside of it, but I should have just moved them. Welcome back to On Board with Vander Gibbon, episode three. This is Tulsa Tough, day two, the Arts District crit. I started it here because this guy above us turns on his GoPro. All right, so Arts District, um, day two. Tom, how you feeling? How, how describe this course to me? What you thought? Uh, I actually feel way, way better tonight than I did the night before. Friday, I think I was, you know, I had pretty non-responsive legs. They weren't bad, but they were just sort of flat, I think, from the drive and not great sleep. Uh, but tonight, you know, I'm a little bit loosened up and I actually feel much better about today. What did you think about this course? Did you like it? Hate it? I like this course, but I've got bad blood with this course. I've only done it once before in 2019, and I got taken out by an Elevate rider on the last lap and ended up concussed in the emergency room, blah, blah, blah. So it's actually not bad course, but that turn right there is, you know, caused me a lot of grief. Oh. And this year, this year they were nice enough to put concrete barriers on the outside of it. <laughs> 16 laps to go. This is the, the corner you crashed in 2019. And as luck would have it, someone hits Jake McGee and he goes down hard right here. So Tom, there, there's Davey, he's stopping. He's ready to hit the pit. You decide to ride on. Yeah, it was sort of a judgment call. Like uh, under the new uh, free lap rules, I could have just stopped and gotten a free lap. But people were still streaming by, and I was like, well, if I stop to take the free lap, I run the risk of getting put in in a really bad position. And I was sort of like midway through the field, so I was like, you know, I'm, I'm just going to gamble here. And I ended up, you know, making a little bit of an effort. It didn't cost me nothing. Uh, but you'll see when we come back in, they actually get put back sort of behind us. So I think I made the right call here. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, it did take a little bit out of me. I want to give a shout out to this Project Echelon rider. I think it might be Hayden Strong. I just watched Kerry Warner's vlog. He does a lot of effort to kind of bring you to the back of this group, and eventually he's done. I hope you said thank you uh, when you went past him. Well, <laughs> I like Hayden, uh, but I'm sort of watching the group go away from him, and I'm just sort of sitting in the draft, getting as much recovery as I can right now, knowing that he might just swing off and pull the pin at any minute. Uh, you know, I'd, I'd rather take five more seconds recovery and close an extra five meters than try to go on blown legs, you know? Yeah, so he brought it back. Thanks, bud. Yeah, he gave you a look. Yeah, he's like, thanks for your help. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you're welcome. Need me to fill this gap? <laughs> I got you, bud. Uh... All right, so you're making a move to the front here. I think we're coming up on seven to go. Is this just to kind of be in that, just to reset, kind of get yourself in the right position? Yeah, exactly. So now I'm just, basically I'm doing the job that Brendan did the night before, only I'm doing it for myself. <laughs> yeah, I noticed, you know, there is no love here. Like you are not allowed to really get on Justin's will. I think that's, that's Elevate right there. And they are, there's no room for you at the end. Yeah, but I should have just moved them, you know? But I'm just like, I don't want to make enemies, but at the same time, like, who cares? You know, they they ended up absolutely pulling the pin this day. They didn't put, I don't think, anybody in the top 10. They all pulled the pin the next day on Crybaby with nobody, I think, hardly in the top 20. Like, I should just be moving those guys. Um, but instead, I'm, you know, fighting in the wind, which is stupid. Every time you do this, you're just impacting your sprint, you know? Right. Every time I think you're going to be on an elevate wheel, another guy comes through and sort of just... Yeah. Are they saying anything to you right now? Is there any talk going on? Any chatter? Or is it all... No. Six laps to go. Six laps to go. Yeah, I mean, this is a long time to be isolated at the front. Mark Hott's already back from his little move up Sound Pony. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, people will say, oh, we need to attack them. And it's like, well, you know, if Mark Hott can't do it, <laughs> what are you going to do? 
your window to attack is so small that you need to just take it when you get it and like six people don't get it at the same time you know it's hard to coordinate that sort of thing so honestly i mean i was in good position and bad position good position and bad position good position and bad position i should have left it later i shouldn't have made any move until probably four to go because you know i was up there with seven to go and that's just too long to be on your own i think i needed to gamble a little bit more and leave it later there was sort of a lack of explosion all night. Like you see these guys moving up the side where normally I'd be able to, you know, easily follow in the wheel, but I'm sort of laboring to get up there. And that little, that little lag ends up, look, I just lost three places. Just like bang, because I'm just a little bit flat. You're just trying to get in Carrie Warner's vlog, Tom. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm trying to do. Crossover YouTube right there. All right, we got, we got to, Hit up, maybe I'll hit up uh, Carrie Warner for some footage of you getting passed. Yeah, just absolutely shuffled. Yeah, I mean, I'm not at all in trouble right here, right? Like, these are pretty long laps, so close to two minutes. Four to go. But it's just getting faster and faster every lap. He's talking to Ty about it on Wednesday, and he was like, yeah, the last five laps went like 145, 141, 138. 136, 130 or something. You're just like, da, 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 just faster and faster and faster. So each, every time you come through, it becomes a little bit more critical. Um, and I probably, like I said, I should have waited longer until maybe four or three to go to make one bigger move instead of making, you know, a dozen medium moves. <sighs> Yeah, this is all very frustrating to watch. Like all of, all of these people are just absolute cannon fodder who feature nowhere in the finish. And it's like, why am I losing wheels to them, you know? It's a little little argy-bargy with the gateway track and uh, Kerry Warner there, not wanting to let the cyclocross star into the train. Yeah. And you just go right past on the downhill. Yeah, then me just steamrolling up. Two to go, making another move up the outside. So this is where Elevate almost puts me into a barrier if you want to turn the sound on. Yeah, I thought that was a little unnecessary. Uh, Especially considering their finishing position. It's like, just riding next to you, bud. There's yeah. room for both of us. You don't need to cause a dangerous situation. Um, really interesting how this race plays out for Legion. Who They go one, two, three, four. Sorry for the spoiler. You probably already know that. Um, but, I mean, I, I don't know how much you saw from your position. So, one to go here. Um, I mean, it's, it's pretty single file. You're on a gateway guy. I mean, it feels like you're not getting fought for wheels. So, you're, you're doing okay. Yeah, no, it's full gas here. Nobody's moving up, really. Two elevate, two elevator gone. Yeah, like what? You're in the wheels and you just, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Last time up Sound Pony and we see, boom, McCabe is done. Pulls the plug. Yeah, that was surprising to me, too. And then right here, boom, Justin goes, swings out wide. Bassetti can't close the gap. He's sort of gone. And then it's down to Hernandez and Estevez to close. Hernandez brings Estevez up with, I think, this is... Oh, he's the gateway kid. Hugo Scala, I think. Yeah. So now I'm actually just chill. I'm like, okay, either Hernandez closes the gap and we're sprinting for the win, or he doesn't and we're not sprinting for the win. But I'm just... A little bit freewheeling here, trying to catch my breath. Um, but I've made so many efforts up to this point, it's just forget it. But I actually come into this with a nice little bit of momentum. You see me launch the sprint. Hernandez and Estevez go backwards. Justin went, sort of maintained distance to him. He ends up fourth, and then Clever rolls me at the line for fifth. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Clever. Let's, let's go back to this this climb here 
Um, so Elevate is popped. McCabe's coming into this, and I guess he just he has nothing. I mean, I, I, he's is he is he trying to drop it for? Is he also trying to do a Saturn sit up? No, because his his teammate has to sprint. Yeah, this makes no sense to me. How people were letting the wheel go here, like Justin. Obviously, he's setting Corey up for the overall because he knows his chances are limited tomorrow on Crybaby. And so he's trying to give Corey some buffer to, you know, win and then hopefully bury some people deep. So he swings off, makes best buddies do the work. He slots back in, wins the sprint for fourth. Corey wins all is well for them. But the Elevate guys getting blown when they're just sitting in the wheels is kind of mind-blowing. And then I guess McCabe had done more work than I was really aware of. Also, he did Unbound, right? Right, exactly. Yeah, Yeah, he's coming off. He's got a bit in the legs. Yeah, this, let's, you know, let's not forget Marcotte and McCabe both did Unbound. So let's let's check in, uh, you know, at Boise and see if they're, if they come around. Wow. Well, I mean, once again, I mean, Tom, you provided us with a great front row seat. (laughs) Row seat to a Legion victory. Let's hope the legs are better next time around, though. Let's hope the head is better next time around, actually. Okay. <laughs> like, subscribe, go follow Vander Gibbon on Instagram, follow Automatic Racing. We'll see you guys next time.